Unfortunately, it's all too common place to be seeing um, ad accounts disabled. And another layer on top of that is business accounts um, restricted or disabled. Um, now, usually what happens when that occurs is that they ask you to verify your business. So a great opportunity um, before that happens is to actually go in and verify your business. Um, but often when you go to request, a request or a review, they want you to verify your business first, which means that you need to go in here. You probably see something like this in your business manager and you need to go down uh, here and there's a thing called security um, settings. Let me just find where that is. Where is that gone? taken that away where is that I'm going to business settings and it will have it down here security center and you need to um, click on continue and it's going to ask you to upload some documents that um, will verify an address um, phone number and your business name. So it's always important when you're setting up your business uh, accounts that you'll have um, something that will document uh, a name and that they can marry that up your um, number and your website domain. So you go here, um, you'll select English if you're operating in English. Um, so this would be certificates, tax registration, business license. I put up my like trust deed that had my name in it. So hopefully um, if you've got, if you're in Australia, like your ABN registration, um, something from the um, ATO business portal um, and similar, I guess, in uh, the US where you've registered registered your details, then um, you can actually, when you do that um, in this bit here, adjust these address details or phone numbers depending on what documentation you have got. If you've got older documentation with different numbers or addresses, say your business bank account is for a different address, make sure you just update that there before you upload um, your tax certificate, um, uh, upload, you know, ATO registration or whatever it might be. Then the next one might be a bank account. Um, and then it will ask to verify via email or via domain. Now, email is quicker, so hopefully your um, you can just give that you get a six digit number and you put that back in and then you wait to see if it's approved. Now, when I did this recently, it took a few attempts um, and I've noticed on my other one that it has been uh, rejected again. So um, that may be because there's a disabled ad account in there. Um, but when I go in, um, you might see, you have to go back in and check. Sometimes they don't even email you and it'll just say it's rejected. Okay. Now they haven't said why, so I'll need to start that verification process again, um, and get that through because when the business verif isn't verified, um, and one of your ads gets disabled for whatever reason, then you will often see now they're shutting down business accounts that aren't verified. So you want to be able to have your business account verified, then you can go back into your actual ad account and or your ads manager and ad account level and then request a review if they have disabled. They won't generally let you request a review uh, if your ad account isn't, um, uh, if your business manager, sorry, isn't uh, verified. So the business manager is where all the ad accounts live and where you give people access to ad accounts. So now there's kind of two layers where they can, they can stop you from advertising. And there seems to be tripping up both layers at the moment. Um, it's, it's, uh, just, you know, nearly every week, um, it is creating issue after issue. Uh, so, you know, that it is wise to have a couple of business managers and a few ad accounts, but that is against terms and conditions of Facebook. So um, if you are going to set up other business manager or other ad account, um, if like me, you've got some accounts that they just will not um, reinstate, then I would suggest that you do that on uh, another computer, um, another internet connection and another Facebook profile, um, even preferably another Facebook page as well. So yeah, a lot of messing about. It's very irritating. Um, but this is the only kind of way we can keep, you know, resubmitting and requesting reviews to get things moving. Um, 
that's really all that we can do uh, at this point in time. So hopefully that helps.